Hey, I'm Dr. Peacock. I wanted to show you uh, a patient of ours that we treated for a chronic ulceration utilizing non-invasive surgery. Uh, first, I'd like to show you how her foot looked when she first uh, when we first looked at her foot. This is in the hospital prior to the surgery. You can see she has a chronic ulceration here. Uh, we did a did a couple of minimum invasive surgeries. We got it down to this after one week, so you can see her foot here. If you notice uh, with her foot, she has uh, she had gastroequinus. Uh, with her knee extended, she could get 10 degrees dorsiflexion. With the knee, with the knee uh, extended, she was not getting the, the dorsiflexion. I want to show you a couple things here. This is uh, approximately how many weeks later is it now? We're at. It's been a little over a month. So we're over a month now. This is where the original alteration was at. You can see now it's completely healed within one month. Now the reason she has this alteration, she has neuropathic issues and she has tightening of her gastrocnemius muscle. So we did an endoscopic gastroc recession to correct that. If you look at her condition now, comparing right and left foot, dorsiflex your feet up to as far as you can yourself. See how much further she can now uh, dorsiflex her right foot compared to the left foot. So to correct this, we did two procedures. We did an endoscopic gastroc recession. And we also did a wedge minimally invasive osteotomy to pull her toe up. As you can see now, she has uh, the alteration is, is completely resolved. Now, she also has a somewhat unusual finding that's very important. She has numbness and tingling in both feet. After we performed this procedure for the endoscope, she now has improvement of her of her sensation in her right foot and less uh, numbness in her right foot. Her left foot is still fairly numb. And the reason for this is that when people have to overcompensate pronation-wise, they actually crush the TBS posterior nerve. So some of the findings we find in diabetics are not just the neuropathic pain, it has to do with biomechanics of the foot. So I want to introduce your patients to our patient. And how long, have you had, how long did you have the ulceration before you came to see us? I had it four months before four months. I came to see Dr. Pico. And your recommendations were what uh, from your original recommendations? To have the ulcer that was on the bottom of the toe cut off, but then had the, actually had the big toe amputated. Right. Felt, my regular doctor felt like that was the only way to get rid of it, right. to have it to heal. So, so, so now she, she's a fairly young active patient. You know, we don't want people losing their toe unless they have to. This is, a, this is a patient that had a biomechanical issue, and once you address the biomechanical issue, some of the other things will go away. Uh, we probably eventually will do it, even though she doesn't have an ulcer on this foot, most likely we'll also do the gastro recession here once she heals from this after a while, and just to give her a uh, feeling back into her, to her uh, left foot. I once again want to show you the dramatic difference. Dorsiflex both feet as far as you can. See the difference there? So this is, this is a biomechanical issue. It's not a metabolic issue as much as it is biomechanical effects of diabetes.